guys, it's Mike here again with Team Viper Paranormal and Virginia Paratronics. And today we're going to look at the green ghost hunting laser grid with tripod and mount and its applications for paranormal investigation. And I'm going to show you how to get your own at a very reasonable price. Now you may have seen these green ghost hunting laser grids on some of the popular paranormal investigation TV shows. And you may even own one yourself. And if you do own one, I'm going to show you how to check it out to make sure you did get what you paid for. If you look towards the end where the laser comes out, you're going to see a little sticker here and it's going to say danger on it. And if you go right below that, you're going to see max output. Now if you purchase the good one, it's going to say 30 MW, which stands for milliwatts, or better. If it says 5 milliwatts, then someone has tricked you into purchasing a very, very inexpensive and an almost useless laser grid. So if you do buy one of these, make sure it is 30 milliwatts or more. Now the laser grid itself is very small, it runs off of two AAA batteries, and if you're running good batteries, it's going to last you quite a long time. Now several of them come with these detachable kaleidoscope ends here. Now this particular one, it comes with one, and it gives you one pattern, and you can adjust that pattern however you see fit. If you look there, you can see that, and kind of changing that pattern a little bit and you can change it to however you like it. Now this actually slides into the tripod and mount. These tripods are extendable. They'll extend about 8 inches or so and you basically take your laser grid and slip it right in through there and once it clicks, bam, it's going to turn that laser grid on. So you can use this laser grid without having to hold your finger on the button the entire time. Now when I first saw these used on investigations, I thought they were pretty useless because the theory is you take this and point it towards the wall and if something solid moves in front of it, then it's going to block some of those laser grid lights out and you're going to be able to detect the anomaly. And I thought, well, why not just set up a camera with a flashlight? It's going to do the same thing. And then I actually sat down and got to use one. After using the grid, I decided, hey, maybe this is a little bit better than I think. And here's why. This grid is going to cover a lot of room. You can cover complete hallways. And if the rooms aren't separated by anything, you can actually cover a couple rooms at a time. And these things will reach a long way, unlike a flashlight or some type of an infrared light. And if something solid does move in front of this, you are going to see that. Now, I wanted to make sure there were no ways to catch any false anomalies, so I did some testing. I took the laser grid, turned the lights off, and put it on the tripod and started moving things in front of the lens to see if I could get some false anomalies. And what I, what I determined was, yes, you can, but it has to be a sizable object. I thought, well, what if an, an insect happens to move by it or, or one of the legs goes in front of the laser grid? Is it going to block it out? No, it's not. I even tried a, a toothpick and some other small objects to move them in front of the grid to see if I could get it to block this light out. And it doesn't really block the lights out. You'll kind of see a little split in between the lights, but you can easily tell that it is a false anomaly and nothing paranormal. When you're using a laser grid, here's the best way to avoid possible false anomalies. If you don't have a tripod, that's okay too. You can always use some tape or something to compress this button down, and you can set it on a solid surface. But if you do, I would recommend instead of setting it on the surface, make sure it hangs over a little bit. And that would eliminate the possibility of, of an insect or something moving in front of it. Because an insect will block this thing out and it will look like something's moving in front of it. Small particles like dust and things like that, even though they do have a surface, it's not enough to block these lights out. So you're not going to get false anomalies from dust and things like that. Another tip for avoiding false anomalies is to keep the laser grid in the shot of the camera at all times. I've seen people take it and set it beside the camera or behind the camera, but the problem is you can't see the laser grid itself. So if something were to move in front of it that was not paranormal, then you wouldn't know. So what I recommend doing is setting up your camera on your tripod, setting up your laser grid in front of that camera toward the laser grid and the projection on the wall is in the shot. And if you do this, and something does come in front of it that would cause a false anomaly, you're going to be able to see it. Always make sure you're using good batteries in your laser grids. I recommend using uh, more expensive brands such as Duracell or Energizer because the batteries are better and they do last longer. The longer the batteries are in here, the more they're going to drain and your laser is going to start to dim. And If you can't see the laser grid on the wall, then it's going to be completely useless. 
If you're shooting this with a night vision camera, make sure your infrared lights are not drowning this out because we have had that happen on investigations and you can't see the laser grid at all. So keep the fresh batteries in there, really good batteries all the time, and just test it out and make sure that you're going to be able to see it on the wall and your infrared lights are not drowning it out. Now the 30 milliwatt and above laser grids, they will put out some visible light. So you can use these things in total darkness without having any type of illumination at all and you're still going to be able to see. You can even use it as a flashlight because it puts out that much light. Also, if you don't want to use this as a laser grid and you just want to use it as a pointer, you just unscrew the cap and there you go. You can see it. This thing will go a long way. This is great for presentations. And it's good for testing reflective surfaces also. With the lights turned out and you shine this through a room, you're going to really be able to point out the reflective surfaces with this thing. Now there is a warning on these laser grids not to point these directly in someone's eyes because you can damage their eyes. And that's the last thing you want is your team members walking around an investigation blind. So make sure to use a little bit of caution and a little bit of common sense when you're using this and any paranormal investigation equipment. Well, there you have it. The green ghost hunting laser grid with tripod and mount. I hope you found this video educational and if you'd like to purchase one of these then you can send me an email at vaparatronics at live.com or you can visit us on Facebook and I'm going to include a link in the description as well. I want to thank you for watching our videos. Don't forget to check out our website www.viperparanormal.com. Please comment, rate, share this video and don't forget to subscribe.